bless you, young people. I'm Evangelist Carolyn Benson, and I'm happy to be with you today on your Motivational Monday. And I just want you all to be encouraged and want you to know that Apostle Benson and I love you so much. We love and miss all of you. Amen. And we certainly hope that all of you are blessed and doing well. But we want to encourage you in the Lord today just to let you know that heaven is a real place and to set your affections on things above and not on things that are on the earth. The Bible lets us know that heaven and earth is going to pass away, but God's word is going to stand forever. And he told us that he has gone away to prepare a place for us that where he is, there we may be also. Amen. So that is our goal. And we want to make that your goal. We hope that that's your goal as well, that all of you are heavenly minded and seeking to please the Lord and to walk up right before him. Amen. So that we can be where the Lord is. And we continue to see sickness and devastation all around us. But a true relationship with the Lord delivers us from the fear of death. Amen. For we know that if this earthly tabernacle, this earthly house were dissolved, we have another building of God not made with hands eternal in the heavens. And the Bible said for this we groan. In other words, we desire to be clothed upon with that eternal house that is from heaven. And I know that you've heard Apostle teach about this, that you know, whenever we have a little pain or a little ache or we start losing our hair or losing our teeth, we're like, oh, oh, oh. But that's just the Lord starting to take the tent down, this earthly tent, this earthly tabernacle. Amen. But there is a better place for us. Amen. We have so much to look forward to. So I just want you, don't forget about heaven. Make heaven your goal. Amen. It is an everlasting place of peace, an everlasting place of joy. Heaven is real. Heaven is everlasting. That's why the enemy seeks to destroy us all. The Bible says the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and destroy because he doesn't want us to make it to that place that he was literally kicked out of and he's been banished forever. But guess what? That's our future home and we're determined that we're going to see the Lord in peace. So I want to just leave that thought with you today. Search the scriptures. Continue to read the word, for in the scriptures you think you have eternal life. And you do, because the Lord has spoken it. The Lord is soon to come. Our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. So look up for your redemption draws nigh. I hope I've said something to encourage you on today. God bless you and we love you.